my name is Brandon Rosh, and I feel like I'm entering what I have dubbed the midlife crisis. So my house went from one full of people and life and kids to a house empty. And that's probably part of where I realized, hey, I'm entering this crisis of I literally had a house and a plan and daily responsibilities from when it came to chores and schoolwork and all those things that are normal parenting challenges. And now we'll go through a house that, you know, has a hole in it. And that's not necessarily a life that has a hole in it. That's not a doom sentence, but at the same time it's different. And that difference alone has caused this epiphany and says, hey, something's changed in my life that I wasn't prepared for. This was my daughter Madison's room. Oh goodness, it's still the same color and everything. It's, it, like I said, it's very recent. Tried to make it an inviting room for a girl, and I think it very much was. The house and room that she's at now is equally inviting and warm. So, The challenge is, now I've got this wonderful teenage girl friendly room that with no teenage girl in it. So here was the boys' rooms. So Max and Jack shared a room, and you can imagine the ruckus that a 14-year-old and an 8-year-old boy, two brothers living together, could create. They're doing very well, and the new challenge for me is, what do I do with the dinosaurs and the trophies? Although physically they're not here, so it feels like I gave them up, I'm connected to them, and I didn't willingly, I didn't place this call. It wasn't something I was seeking. Instead, I think it was, I think, I think what's unique about the situation is I've got the empty nest probably 10 years earlier than I should have. 10 years earlier than certainly I expected it. Um, my house, which was once the house of kids and all the things that go with, um, you know, a, a family house, is suddenly not that. Light up the night. 